Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to program several types of EDM risers with Patch Up 2. The first type is a riser that uses the granular oscillator, LFO3, and pitch. Okay, let's get right to it. I have Patch Up 2 initialized and the sample high multi saw one loaded. I have the granular oscillator selected using one grain stream and the duration is set to one. This means I'm set up for short grains. I'm gonna to go to the LFO3 icon here and drag it to the pitch section that is outlined in green. Okay, the LFO3 was dropped to the source in column one of the matrix here and the pitch in the modulation destination here. And now I can hear the note going up and down. Next, I'm going to change the re-trigger setting to on and slow the rate down to a setting of 0 0.50. Let's have a listen. Okay, great. So the note goes up, then down in pitch. Now, here's what is going on. By changing the re-trigger to on, it enables the note to always be played or re-triggered the same way. The pitch of the note always increases when triggered. Now, if I change the LFO's waveform from sine to sol, the direction of the pitch changes. For example, the pitch of the note goes from high to low, then repeats again from high to low. I want the pitch of the note to repeat like this, but I want the pitch of the note to go from low to high, then repeat. So to achieve this, I'm gonna change the shape value to 100% to get the pitch of the note to go up again. Okay, perfect. Now I want to address the pitch of the note. I can go to the modulation depth here and have a look around. Since the value is set to 12, the pitch of the note will go up by one octave. Now, let's say that I want the pitch to go even higher. All I need to do is set the modulation depth to a higher positive setting like this. Okay. Now this works the same if I want the pitch to drop. I'm gonna set the value to a negative amount so you can hear the pitch dropping. Okay, I'm gonna set the pitch depth value back to plus 12 and talk about another possibility. Let's say that I want the riser to be in sync with my doll. I'm gonna head back over to LFO3 and change the sync mode to tempo. Okay, set. Let's have a listen. So now the pitch of the note is moving from low to high rather fast. Even when I set the rate to half notes, the riser might still be too fast for my buildup. Here is how I can program the riser to be in sync and the pitch of the note to go up over a period of one to 16 measures. If I change the rate value to 4-4, four, four, the pitch of the note moves from low to high in four beats. And now at 8-4, the pitch of the note moves from low to high in eight beats that equals two measures. So to be thorough, if I want the pitch of the note to go up for four measures, the setting would be 16.4. And for eight measures, the setting would be 32.4. And if I want the pitch of the note to last much longer, the setting for 16 measures would be 64.4. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm going to set the rate to 64.4 and the tempo to 170 and hit play.
OK, I think I have the sync mode explained. So this is the basic EDM riser programming procedure when using the granular oscillator. But there are many other ways to produce awesome riser sounds. First off, I would most likely enhance my short grain settings to something that I would like to use for my riser sound. So I'm going to change the number of grains from 1 to 3, change the position and position spread to 50%. OK, that sounds fuller. To list out some of my next riser possibilities, I could add movement by using another LFO to control panning or the format parameter to get some textures moving. I could use the cutoff or length parameters in the same way. I could add some volume commands for glitch effects and so on. So basically, after setting up the way the pitch moves, all of the other enhancements are to give movement for my sound. Now I'm going to add several of these possibilities that I've mentioned for you to check out. Okay, so many different types of options to play with regarding LFOs. But that's not everything. I can also use the step modulator to control the pitch or other parameters like I used with the LFOs. I got the step modulator page open. First, I'm going to drag the drag icon to the pitch parameter like this. OK, set. Now, here I have many options to play with since the step modulator has up to 32 possible steps. To show this example, I'm going to set the number of steps to 2 and then turn on the snap function here. Next, I'm going to change the second step to plus 12 like this. So I could add more steps. How about 16 and add some more pitch commands? And I can change the rate and slope settings like this. So as you can see, I can have a lot of possibilities by using the step modulator as well. OK, I'm going to move over to the spectral engine. So when using the spectral oscillator, the process is the same. I'm going to drag LFO3 to the pitch parameter now. OK, next I'm going to set the retrigger to on, turn the sync mode to tempo, set the rate to 64.4, and change the waveform to saw, and the shape to 100%. OK, let's have a listen. OK, 
Okay, very cool. Next, I could enhance my spectral layer by using the LFO to control the formant, the purity, the volume, and so on. So with all these possibilities, two layers can really help to be creative when producing risers. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. See you again in the next video. Cheers.